I gotta make a call. You pick something out with Alejandra. Okay, Mom. We'll be fine. So, how about this? Okay, look, Nanny, I already told you. I don't need your help. When I see something I like, I'll let you know. Whatever you want. Whatever you want, whatever you want. And don't be so stupid. I'm the boss. When Mom's around, she is the perfect little princess. But when Mom's away, a demanding diva comes out to play. Do you let this pint-sized prima donna abuse her babysitter? Or do you stick up for a nanny in need? What would you do? Here comes my mom. You say anything, and I'll get you fired. Everything OK, Alejandra? Oh, we're just great, Mom. I found so many things I like. You're the best for bringing me here. We've taken over the toy box in Colts Neck, New Jersey. Oh my this God. first shopper is nearly frozen in place when she hears Amanda's rude words. Tell my mom to buy me that right now or else I'll have you fired. And do you want that to happen? No, because then you won't get anywhere in life. Amanda. She struggles with what to do. It's true. And then, reluctantly, she speaks up. Very mean what she just said to her. I mean, yeah, but she's just a nanny. Yeah, but she's taking care of you. She's looking out for you. And she's got your best interests at heart. Yeah, but we're paying her. It doesn't matter. It's still not very nice to treat her like that. I mean, she's like stupid. Like, look at her just stand there. Amanda, I think that. Maybe Shut up! You're just a nanny. And you're just a kid, and you should be respectful of your elders. Sorry. I really appreciate it. And now this soft-spoken woman tells the store's manager, who's actually one of our actors, how she's feeling. I'm just really bothered. Yeah, she's She's so deep in conversation that she doesn't see us standing by. And then we step in. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm OK. I'm John Quinones. Oh, god. <laughs> this is what would you do? Oh, my god. OK? <laughs> You were very upset, obviously. Yeah. What was going through your mind? I was going to leave and come back to the store later because I was very upset by how she was treating the nanny. You just couldn't take it? Mm -mm. She was um, telling her that because she was a nanny, she wouldn't become anything, which is not right. We roll again. I don't need your help. I can do it on my own. Um, OK. Um, tell my mom to buy this for me, or I'll get you fired easily. This woman quietly lends her support directly to our nanny. Hold this. Yeah, I just don't, I just don't know, like. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to be patient. Yeah. But when Amanda does this. Pick that up. Amanda, you can pick it up yourself. She changes her focus. I think you can pick that up yourself. She gets paid to do stuff. She's the nanny, so. Nice. And then she turns her attention to the manager. What is she saying? And then finally tells our mom what she saw. Oh, you can. She dropped something on the floor. Who did? The nanny? No, your daughter. And she says, you pick it up. That's your job. Or I'll get you fired. Wait. Before anyone gets fired, time for us to step in. Hi there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> They're actors. Oh, my God. I'm just like, oh, my God. I don't know what to do. I just felt terrible for the nanny. <laughs> just, I kept thinking, oh my god. I'm glad this was. What would you do? <laughs> Look, I don't need your help. This mom shopping with her kids keeps a close watch on what's happening. I keep on telling you this. I'm fine by myself. You do your thing and I'll do mine. When mom returns. Hi, mom. And the nanny walks away. Amanda tells a different story about what happened. Oh my God, the nanny was so mean to me, Mom. What? 
She was so rude. She's not nice. I don't like her. And now the customer can't stay quiet. She's insane. Like, that's crazy. She would say that about her. What was she saying? She's like really mean to the nanny. She just told me that the nanny was being mean to her. No. No. <laughs> Amanda? Alejandra? Can you tell me what she's saying? Because I'm, I just, I want to know. Before she's out the door, we catch up with her. I'm John Quinones. And that's why I was like pacing the store. They had already looked around the store. So what were you waiting for? An opportunity to say something? Kinda, yeah. I mean, I felt that I needed to tell the parent, you know, that her daughter was being a certain way. You know, I can see in her face she's like, oh my gosh, like why is she talking to her like that the whole time? That's why I was, I was pacing. I'm like, this is crazy. And then this woman enters. She's also shopping with her kids and talking on the phone. Do you want to get one of those, or? I can pick out my own things. I don't need your help. So initially, Amanda's ugly words seem to go unnoticed. Why don't you understand? I'm the boss. You're just the nanny. You don't mean anything to me. Just stop following me. I can get you fired if you don't do what I tell you to do. So I don't think you would want that to happen. Well, I mean, she's just she's the nanny. But that's not nice. She's a person. She's a person. She has feelings. You have feelings too, don't you? Mm-hmm. And imagine if somebody said that to you, that would hurt your feelings, wouldn't it? And she. Can't her job it. is to get me things, though. It's not, not to like do job. anything. Her job is to take care of you, not to just get you things. That's not nice. With her own children listening and looking on, the customer continues trying to teach the little diva to be a better person. I'm telling you, I'm a mommy, and if my if my daughter talked like that to someone that was taking care of her, I would be very, very upset with her. I would be very disappointed. But, it's not nice. I be mean, a nice person. You want people to be nice to you? Mm -hmm. You want nice things in life? You need to be nice to people. And even when Amanda talks back to the sympathetic shopper... She's my nanny. You should mind your business. She puts our little girl in her place. You need to be respectful to your elders. That's what you need to learn. I'm a grown person. You're a little girl. She's a grown woman. You don't talk to your elders that way. Ma'am? Hi, I'm John Quinones. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Are you serious? Yes, they're actors. Oh my, I'm gonna cry right now. I was so upset, I was on the phone with one of my friends and I heard her speaking like that. You hung up. And I hung up, I'm like, I gotta go. I'm like, I can't. I'm like, she's a person, I'm like, that's not nice. I looked at the nanny and she had tears in her eyes and I just felt like, you know, we live in a world with so many horrible things that go on and this was a, a child that was talking that way and it's scary. The message that I try to teach my children is just to, you know, to be polite and to have manners and, you know, to work for what we have.